Hello, welcome to day three of 30 days of writing prompts from Bear Paw Arts Journal. I'm Gwen Hart, the poetry editor and your host for this month. Today's prompt is to write a poem based on either a family photograph, as in the poem, Finding Old Family Photos by Wendy Freeborg, or an old home movie or home video, as in Roll Film by Suzanne Sunshower, or to write a poem based on a visual piece of art, so a photograph, a painting, et cetera, as in New Descending a Staircase by Matt Thomas. So what I would advise in, in writing this poem is don't do it from memory, get out the actual photograph, watch the few minutes of film, look up the artwork that you would like to base your poem on and really have that, be able to study it and use details from that visual in your a poem. You can also think about perspective when you're writing this poem. So do you want to be talking about who you are now versus who you were then if you were in the photo? Or do you want to inhabit um, your mind in the at the time of the photograph or the movie? What were you thinking then, if you can remember, or what do you imagine you were thinking? If you're writing about a piece of visual art, uh, you can write as an observer of that piece of art, or you could write as someone in that frame, you know, representing something in that artwork and write from that perspective. I will also mention that we have a lot of really beautiful artwork in the Bear Paw Arts Journal from Emily Luke, who has her photographs of the Bear Paw Mountains, which are here in North Central Montana. They're gorgeous. So you could also, if you need an artwork to <laughs> write about, you could use one of her photographs. We also have some artwork in different uh, mediums from Emma Gray Rose, who's also one of our poetry contributors to this issue. So feel, please feel free to check out her art artwork as well if you need a uh, starting point for your poem on a family photograph, a uh, family video, or a piece of visual art. Thanks so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for day four. Happy writing.